preseason, I think it's going um, at, at times very well. Um, you know, the downer has been battling the weather and the conditions. Might have been one of the worst um, you know, stretches here in the preseason weather-wise. Haven't missed a day. Uh, the good news is the guys have um, given a great effort. Um, no issues with that. Uh, we're getting better. We've got a lot of young faces um, in, in key spots too. We've got some veterans in, uh, in key spots. and. Uh, and we're hoping for an exciting year. You know, everyone's looking great flying around. Um, freshmen look phenomenal. There's 14 freshmen and a uh, junior transfer. We're playing well together. Stick works great. Stamina. And uh, this is like the closest team we ever had so far since I've been here here at Bryant. I'm really, really pleased with uh, the play of Shane Morrell at the offensive end. You know, he was a proven commodity coming in, but we think you know, he's never practiced harder, never practiced better. Um, great surprise. Uh, in our freshman attacking, um, Tucker James, Brett Baker, and Drew D'Antonio are right in the mix as freshmen, uh, which has uh, been great for our depth there. You know, I've coached college across for, for 31 years, and, and it's been a long time, and uh, had a lot of great, great players. I don't think I've enjoyed coaching two more complete two-way midfielders that happen to be you know, both captains, both line mates, uh, both best friends, and, and Alex and, and Colin. And to see them drafted, you know, very, very high in the MLL draft with the best college seniors to date was certainly a great tribute to them, but very, very rewarding for us too. And, and, and those two guys will go like we go. I mean, they're, they're a, a big part of who we are. It represents, you know, the rise of Brian LaCrosse. We're getting athletes that can play at that elite level and have something to offer at that next stage in the game. And, you know, to have two players in the same class graduate together to go play in the MLL, it's something special that not a lot of teams have, especially when you're a Division II team that starts to cross over to Division I. It's so, like, always been like a dream, you know, growing up, yeah, I always wanted to play professional sport, and, you know, playing professional cross, I think it's amazing. You know, also, Colin Dunster also got drafted. I think it's a great thing for our program. You know, we want to get better every game, play the best we can, always give our top effort, and then, Hopefully, you know, went out the NEC, get a chance to play in the NCAA tournament again. You, you go back to a year ago, you know, when you we were 0 7 to begin the year and then turned it around mid season and, and went on a run in, in the conference and won the conference championship and kind of salvaged a, um, a very, very tough start to a remarkable you know, finish. Uh, you know, we just got to get out of the box uh, a lot quicker. You know, we, we got to get uh, on the winning track, winning breeds confidence and then once you get the first one, uh, the, the second one will come.